welcome to the video. This is one of the new moons. This is Adamance, I believe it's called. I don't have a no fog filter on right now, but as far as I can tell, this is the only moon that is not considered a secret moon. This moon is free to travel to, and the loot here is absolutely awesome. I uh, got a locked cabin that you need a key to get into. And uh, the new mob can spawn on this map here. Uh, this map is quite small. There's a fire exit over here, I believe. And there's a little uh, parkour opportunity over here. You can make this jump, although it's a bit harder with uh, weight. I don't know if you can make it back over there. I'm pretty sure you can, though. Um, over here, we got little um, spikes in the ground. And we actually have our fallen brother in... Uh, impaled on one of these things with wires hanging out of it so it looks like they um definitely got into the wiring of our home a bit uh the fire exit is right here uh, i haven't been able to find any logs whatsoever uh one thing that's cool about this is if you get a jetpack you can go to the top of this if you want uh, but what's interesting is you're not exactly safe from the new uh mob yet up here I don't know if it can get up here, but um, I, I can definitely see it having the potential to. So, uh, there's two new mobs added. I'll show you what's in the cabin, and then we'll go to the next moon. So, this cabin is locked, but what you have here is you have a little code on what um, moon to go to next. If you enter code ART into a terminal, it will take you into the next moon, and we'll go into that moon right now. Oh, I was, this entire time I thought it was artifact and not artifice. So the hazard level here is SS plus or S plus plus. So what we got here, as soon as I figure out where I am, we got four buildings, four, maybe five buildings, I think. And with a um, very easy to locate fire exit, you got these five buildings and then you got this little one right here. There's nothing in this as far as I could tell, really. You just have a little escape route in case this new mob which is right here find you this is called the old bird and it is not active right now although when it does become active i don't know what triggers it to be active but uh this thing is this thing has the potential to kill a tree giant i don't know if it has the potential to kill a sandworm but i imagine a earth leviathan is not capable of killing this thing uh, it can definitely kill a tree giant, and I've actually seen a tree giant die um, from this thing already over on my live stream if you watch it uh, over there. I, I experimented uh, with this live, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So this thing is quite scary, especially when we go to the next moon. But then uh, there's not much to be had in these other rooms here. You got um, little barracks i believe and over in this building over here is you got a little uh, medical area uh i'm not sure if you're supposed to be in that wall uh you got a little medical area for taking care of patients here so very interesting lore uh standpoint uh as far as i can tell there's still no scrap that can spawn on the outside so you have to go into the facility i believe there is a guaranteed old bird spawn here i don't think so I'm not saying it. It might be in here for some reason. This one in particular is very foggy, uh, even if you open the gate. Because there's a way to open the gate. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's like right along this wall here. I think it's. Uh, I don't know. You can't really see it, but there is a way to open that gate. Uh, you got more of these spikes here, and the interiors are exactly the same. So I won't go into the interiors. So this is Embryon. So. Quite a few of these old birds floating around. Uh, you got one on top of there. You got uh, three on top of there. Um, so far right now, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So seventeen right now. I'll get you a nice close up of these i assume this one up here may be facing the right way yeah this one's facing the right way so get a really nice good view of it uh, these things do become active in a little bit and i'll show you um, how they attack to the best of my ability 
this is a light, uh, according to the bestiary, this uh, light here when it's on is a 100,000 lumen uh, light spotlight. So that's terrifying. Um, we got uh, a claw thing there, and then it has a um, little cannon here. And yeah, quite intimidating. Yeah. Hopefully one of these are activated soon. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hello. Hello, friend. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. You can kind of dodge them, one thing I've noticed about that. Ow. Whoop. They don't really seem to damage you, they just more so knock you around to the point where you take fall damage. Oh. Okay, they do damage you, my, my mistake. I want to get closer to this thing. Oh. Okay, apparently I'm behind the shooting. It does cry. It does have the... Like, the crying thing is a part of it. Okay, so it can just stomp you. I didn't know it could just stomp you. There's uh, three different ways to die to it as far as I know. The first one is stomping. Second one is being shown on screen here. Oh, I got him. Oh, oh, oh. That's, uh, that's not, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, my guy. <laughs> it was for science. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that gruesome. Oh, <laughs> he's burnt to a crisp. Cause of death burning, okay. And the third one is simply dying to fall damage or being shot by it. There we go, okay. So, this is the butler. So he cleans and then as soon as he spots someone who is all by himself, he goes into attack mode. So he cleans most of the time, and uh, when he's when he finds someone alone, he gets the um, knife out. So I believe that's all the new content we have for version V50. I'll Put a link uh, to the live stream below if you want to see my live reaction to this. Uh, we were just figuring it out as we could as we went along. Um, had a viewer help me figure some stuff out, test some things, find some things. So that was very helpful. So uh, that's it for this video. So until next time, bye bye.